take a bow. The night is over. I'm afraid it's getting colder. The lights are drawn. The curtain's drawn. There's no one in the crowd. Ellen DeGeneres. Let's talk about your whore girlfriend, Portia De La Rossi, and how Ally McBill was funny. Like, when was that funny? She's a comedian? I didn't know that. I called Carol Burnett. I said, hey, Carol, it's me. It's Harvey Corman. Yeah, I don't know why you fired me, but I'm down here, and I got a guy named John Stiglione that wants to give you a job. And did you know there's a show called Ally McBill? And these... The stupidest girls are laughing at it. The dumbest ones. You know, the ones that like the Simpsons and shit. Yeah, real stupid girls. Anyways, I'm over it. I got a job for you, Carol. Whenever you need one, you can come down here, baby. Um, This is for mainly Marion's. I live in Marion County. Marion County in Salem, Oregon, where Tina Kotek refuses to take her tampon out and bleed all over everything. And Chris O'Donnell isn't a porn star or a prostitute. He's actually really something. Meanwhile, his daughter works her ass off at Tap My Root. And I'm not getting any action. So I don't know where the satisfaction is, but maybe the Rolling Stones can clue me in. Um, I'm over Oregon, and you can cast every plant. However, I'm not running down to Los Angeles like ever. Let's talk about one ugly Jew bitch called Judith Chips. Oh, my God. Love the bull haircut. I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned about both Stephen and Daniel. First of all, Daniel put his penis in my mouth when I was three years old to enact revenge using Greek tragedy. Or here's what happened during Greece. Um, they did not allow women in the theater. You had to make span of capita. And in the span of capita, Daniel, who's not very bright, learned from Judith Chips, who came from Nazi Germany, that, um, well, Joe Albrecht was actually Turkish, and he was hiding behind the swastika of Austria because he was terrified of white people. That's what um, Daniel learned. He's real smart. So anyways, he had to give a baby up for adoption. And he decided to get revenge on his sister, who looked like Wonder Woman. My mother was gorgeous. She looked like a, she looked like a Czechoslovakian girl who screws 100 guys in film now under Soros money that you took, that you did to do a riot. My mother was gorgeous. My mother, they were so happy. The Germans were so happy when she got fat including a woman named <clears throat> Trudy Herzog Godfrey of Ross IGA, who made her money off of the cancer of Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta, who's now playing Santa Claus on TV, because that's the only gifts you're going to get, kids. My name, I'm the real devil here, is Natas Kinky. And if you want to understand suffering, I have two plans for the United States. First of all, I'm here for every boy and girl to learn Urdu, Hindi, Cantonese, and English. That is the new triad under the Catholic order of the United States. Those are the languages of business. They must learn. And we will, I have an idea for a cartoon where you have an English-speaking family, a Hindi-speaking family, and a Cantonese-speaking family, and they all understand each other, and you're supposed to figure out the plot. And it's a cartoon. And we just do these cartoons for kids. They're real simple. And there, and maybe you'll maybe you'll pick up some stuff too. That's what I'm hoping. I hear immersion is the way to teach people, and I agree. And I also agree that while Guns N' Roses say it's all Greek for them, Cyrillic is the language that guides the bubble of Israel. And how are you going to fix that bubble if the Cantonese made it? And their language is quite frankly Cyrillic, meaning Greek to you. How are you going to fix their bubble? They're the boy in the bubble and the baby with the baboon heart. I don't believe in a baby with a baboon heart. That kid died. So how are you going to fix Paul Simon? Simonized says bubble on time when I got a nuke headed there. I don't give a fuck. I'm the devil. I want all of you dead. I do. Every motherfucker I want dead. Why? Because I'm not even Austrian. But I might be the real devil. You don't know. Right, Mel Glibson? Hey, Mel Glibson. Is that ABBA? Or are you the Bee Gees? 
You know what I heard? Mel Gibson likes to get drunk with, um, this is why him and Jodie Foster are friends. They fuck. No doubt. They fuck. She's not lesbian. She's been playing games the entire time. Throw her out of Hollywood with Mel Gibson. Passion of the Christ spent. Goodbye. Mel Gibson hates effeminate men. So does Phil Knight. Well, Phil Knight, understandable, probably because he's a big faggot himself. I mean, he's out there fucking ladyboys every chance he gets when he visits Vietnam. Right, Phil? I'm going to slam your name from here. He's been in my house. Someone's been in my house. They've gotten past my, they've gotten past my alarm. Um, and I've had people in my house a few times giving me Nike goods I don't want. I don't buy Nike and I don't buy Adidas meaning I did his ass. Here's why. Adidas is a lesbian control department. They're the ones that ratted on Phil Knight. Phil Knight uh, pimped out my friend Scott Johnson. He's been, he's been dealing in gay whores for a while. That's probably why he doesn't like gay men, because they're a big headache for him. His shoes are based on the Greek is Hermes, meaning hermaphrodite, meaning, meaning that's where you should have started when you talk, talk transsexual or transgender, or whatever fucking bullshit you're on today, Ellen Degenerate. I want your lesbian, your, your bisexual girlfriend who's hiding out with you to leave you. It's called Bisexual Sunday. Get her coked up. She'll fuck anything, I'm pretty sure. Right, Portia De La Rossi? Sure, she's everyone's on Sunday. By the way, I got backstage passes for me and for Carson, for Queer Eye, for the straight guy. And um, yeah, Carson, we're invited to Bisexual Sunday. I even got us a whole baggie of dope. And we're going to get real high and we're going to fuck all the guys. Come on. Come on, Carson. You know, I, I prefer the designer. But it's not about preference right now. It's about, you know, it's about getting down, baby. It's about getting down. Oh, oh, baby, come on. Back it up. Hut, hut. Oh, my God. I love Super Bowl. Hut, hut. I love Super Bowl.